Hey there guys, we are back with more Let's Play Final Fantasy 7. In our last episode, we were almost caught with the train's ID checkpoint thing, but thankfully we jumped off the train just in time and made it here to the level 5 reactor. Well, not level 5, number 5 reactor. And now we are here and about to escape after we planted the bomb. Now, as you see, I did a little bit more, more leveling up, as you can see. And that's pretty much all I really got to talk about, really. Nothing new happened whatsoever. Anyway, let's get the frick out of here, shall we? Because right, honestly, I don't want to be here when this place goes up in flames. Alright, so which way? Hey, there it knows the way. And no. Okay. I guess we don't go that way. Ah, trap. Yeah, I thought playing the bomb was a bit too convenient. And... Wait, the president of Shinra? The big cheese himself? The head honcho? The big kahuna? And that's all I can really think about of names for the big, big man himself. <coughs> of the big man, the big boss. <laughs> Don't you forget, it's Avalanche, motherfucker. Right, Cloud would actually know who he is as well. Back. He's a prisoner of Shinra, considering we were a soldier at a time. You're the one who quit soldier and joined Avalanche. I knew you'd be exposed to Mako from the look in your eyes. Tell me, Trader, what is your name? You don't even know my name? Well, I guess. Oh, of course, Severall. Wait, the great Severall. Remember, you gotta, you gotta add great to his name. Since he was so epic, apparently. Perhaps too brilliant. <coughs> and, of course, Barry doesn't give a damn about all of that. All he does give a damn about is being out of this reactor by the time it goes completely. Vermin. Apparently he's King Vermin. Nice comeback, Barry. <laughs> You're beginning to bore me. And he has a big game to attend to. Can I come along with you? I'm kind of hungry. I, I just woke up. Oh God. Oh God. Give me a second. All right, guys, I'm back. If you're wondering what that noise was, that was not the phone scaring the living daylights out of me. That was, it was some sort of other kind of ring tone thing. Oh Lord. If you're wondering, I did throw my phone across the street. So we won't be hearing that anymore. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, obviously we gotta do something about this. We, we don't really want to have a, a bunch of holes in our bodies from this freaking thing. And this thing's called an air buster. It sounds like a cleaning machine. All right, let's take care of this. And now, this <coughs> <coughs> take care of this mech. Now, the cool thing about this boss is that, that you you start off with a pincer attack. So, regardless of which side it's, it's on, it's gonna it's gonna be doing like a crap ton of damage. Airbuster coming to a home supply store near you. Can't clean it, let's call it an airbuster. Okay, I'm a horrible advertising. I mean, we're, 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 we're way strong, so we don't have to worry about magic. I think my first time playing this game, this boss gave me a hard time. Ow. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think a critical on you is when, like, the, uh, it's like when you character, he gets knocked off their feet. 
I think that's for you that has a critical. And there we go. Simple. Considering how overpowered we are, it was the expected result. That's for you having a cell phone ringtone or a house phone ringtone, you stupid air buster. Oh god. <laughs> Not a damn thing. Well, thanks, Barrett. At least try. You don't worry, Tifa. We're not gonna die. We can't die here. Uh, yeah, yeah. We we have to be be strong, and friend Tifa. <clears throat> you know, I'm not gonna die. You know, Barrett. No. Don't worry, Tifa. I'll be back. I hope. Well, at least we're alive, considering how far we fell. Okay, so this is the church in the level, I'm sorry, level five slums. <coughs> Came crashing down. Oh, cool, the file bed broke our fall, but oh, we messed up her flowers, though. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. We really didn't have a choice in the matter now, did we? Oh, really? They're quite resilient. Well, wait a minute. I just realized. Isn't this the girl we saw back at uh, when she was selling flowers back then? I forgot what sector it was. What number sector did we, did we blow up in the beginning game? I forgot already. I should have looked back at my other video, too. No. I want to say seven. Alright, we have control over these cloud, over cloud, yeah, over cloud again. We should be at full health considering that we fell from God knows where. Uh, remember Cloud? She was the girl that gave me flowers, yo. <laughs> the slum drunk. <laughs> uh, no, you, she was the girl selling flowers. Do I have any material? Yeah, or some of them. They sure are quite pricey though nowadays. Oh, so apparently, apparently this girl has material as well, but it's special. <clears throat> ah, so it was her mother's keepsake, apparently. Um, <laughs> I got nothing to talk about. That's pretty harsh. Sure, I don't mind. But at least tell us your name. It'd be kind of awkward to keep referring to you as, well, you. Yeah, exactly. I'm just saying that. 
And this girl name is Eris. N now, now her name is actually kind of funny when, when it comes to the can. I was actually, well, I was actually thinking that we we're gonna change this in the um, in the remake, not remake, the remaster of this game. But apparently, um, in the other, uh, in the other um, iterations of the game, her name is pronounced Aerith. And the reason why that is because in the in the Japanese language, there is no. No, no, no. Her, her actual name is Aerith, uh, but in, in the Japanese language, there is no, there is no th, so there is no the. Wow, I pretty much spit my mic there. There, there is no the in the Japanese language, so it's normally re replaced with the character su or su. Well, pretty much the sa si su se so. <coughs> the s is pretty much. So we're gonna go back and delete s, put in the. So Aerith. The, whoops. I, I messed up horribly. There we go. No! There we go. Jesus. <coughs> Just so it's Aerith. I, I can see how, how that can be confusing. It's just like with with Tharia from Tell. Oh, not Tells. Um, Fire Emblem Awakening. In, in the Japanese version, her name is Sadia. Or Sadia, excuse me. Or like the name Thunder is Sunda. It, it can be quite confusing. Um, sure. I was just wondering who that guy was. Have I ever been in bodyguard? Well, yeah, we are a jack of all trades. So I guess bodyguard is not necessarily the out of the question. <laughs> but it'll cost you. Go out on a date. Uh, how would Tifa think if she's on me like this now? She, he'd be worried sick. I'm flirting here. I don't know who you are, but <clears throat> you don't know me. That uniform, that music. Ah, his name is Reno. Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah, these guys seem like they're bad news anyway. Because they're going to have the music pretty much changed when we were tar talking to them. Indeed, I have Mako eyes. The president was just saying that too. Yeah, please don't set us up with the flowers. I'm going to catch holy hell! What the hell? <laughs> All right, now Aerith has joined the party. Awesome. Now Aerith is a very interesting character, and when I say interesting, I mean she's very interesting comparatively to the rest of the cast of the game. She's actually a primarily a spellcaster in the game. But in this, and later on, the characters can, they can actually be a hybrid between attack and uh, a magic-oriented character. Aerith, she, however, she's primarily magic-based, so her weapon, as you, you can tell from when I said about her, she uses a uh, guard stick, aka a staff, for much. And not to mention, I don't think about it, we got a titan bangle for her and give her the iron bangle. Now she has no material, even though she says she, she has a special material, and well, that special material doesn't really do anything. Um, we can give her the restore material and the fire material. <coughs> Actually, the ice is almost to the next level too, comparatively to the fire. I guess we can give her the ice one instead. And it's best to have her in the back since, well, she doesn't have that much MP as you. Not MP, HP, you can see. Alright, with that out of the way, let's get out of here. Oh god. They followed us a little bit too soon. Wee! Easy. 
pivot. Baby steps, Aerith. Oh god, wait, the ancient. I guess we really shouldn't worry about that right now. Okay. Now, at this point right now, you have an option to either help out Aerith by b barreling the well, barrels to save Aerith, or you can have her fight him, fight him off. Me personally, I don't, don't really remember which barrel it is, so I'm just gonna have her fight him. Free experience and AP. I must mention, we are pretty overpowered, so we should be fine. Now, if you're wondering what her lemon break is, she has healing wind, which is, well, pretty much just a guess. Heal herself. Well, actually, heals the entirety of the party. But just herself now, since she's by herself. I'm gonna fast forward this. I mean, even though the experience in AP is not, not that much, still. So we're gonna wait for her. So weak. All over 13. I thought she was 14. I believe this is the last one since three surges soldiers came in here. And we get the frig out of here. Throw air. Oops. There we go. And we have made it. Go to the. We have out. Ran the Shinra soldiers. Wait, this is not the first time they've come after you? Okay, so they're the Turks. The Turks are a certain organization that scout for possible candidates for a soldier. This <laughs> violently? I thought they were they're kidnapping someone. They also involved in a lot of other dirty stuff on this side. Spying, murder, you know. Yeah, you know, the, the casual stuff. Well, they did call her an ancient, so I guess that's the reason why they wanted her. Wait, they think you have what it takes to be a soldier? But I don't want to get caught by those people. Sure. Who's got out, got out soldier potential candidates that violently? I don't think I want to be part of that either. Alright, so this one's pretty much easy. Just keep hopping along the debris. And while Aerith is you're struggling to catch up. And out of breath. <laughs> oh, Cloud and Bear, er, and Aerith. Oh, me? Uh, yeah. I used to be a soldier. Let me guess, the eyes? I thought so. Apparently those who were exposed to Mako are worthy to be in soldier. Or rather, if you're in a soldier, you're exposed to Mako. Yeah, the Mako soldier is what I thought. Well, well if she asked this, she probably knew somebody from soldier, right? Alright. Well, I guess I am her bodyguard. Considering the... the Turks are actually out of the area now. I suppose. So we're we're here now, over here to her house. Oh, so soon. But I just met you here. All right. So let's go get to her house and well, 
But even though there's a save point here, we can go a little further and get into a random encounter. Now, there is one particular enemy type you want to watch out for, and these are the enemies I was just thinking about, actually. These are... what are Vice Aids. You're going to want to try to take them out as fast as you can. Mainly because they can't actually steal your stuff, and they, they will run away from you. And that's something you don't want. That was the time that he stole my Titan Bango and I just got it and I forgot to equip it. I'm like, what? Really? Alright. So this is Sector 5. Uh, Sector 5 slum. As you see, it's not really doing all that well comparatively to the other slums that we've been to. And of course, there's a variety of shops here as well. All right, before we actually end the part, I actually want, to, want you guys to see a particular individual. Yeah, this guy in here is sick. He passed out nearby, and someone must have helped him in here. All right, let's see how this guy's doing. Sorry. <laughs> that sounded horrible. Yeah, unfortunately not. We can't really do anything about him, Aerith. Not really a doctor, more somehow they the doctor should fear. And this man has a tattoo the number or sorry, a tattoo with a number two on it. That's gonna be pretty pretty relevant later on in the game. Not now. A little foreshadowing there. Let's see what this what this story has for us. Nothing. Alright, I know one of these is a material shot. I think this is a material shot. Yep. But he pretty much has the same stuff we have already. So I guess we don't have to worry about that really. Alright, I wanna say this is Oh right, this is like something important. I I'm not sure if I ever wanna get all the posters, but you can get a special prize if you like find all the posters. One time prize. <laughs> Everything Princess Shinra says is a lie. But you can't trust that avalanche or whatever you call them. You can bat it all around your life, but it comes down to wanting to live like the people up here, up there. So do I believe in myself? Me. I never lie to myself, that's for sure. I'm proud of you. Okay, where's the poster at? I think it's in this kid's room. Yeah, Paradise One. For delicious wine and a magazine to it. Stop by the Turtles Paradise. Maybe. Not in the top or the middle drawer, so, or the bottom drawer, so it has to be in the middle. Now, you could get it and you'll get a measly 5 gil, but you come back later, you get a better prize. So, don't worry about it. For that, let's just go to the shop. I don't think he really sells any of the. Ooh, he has a type of mango. But I, I want to say the next shop we go into has a better piece of equipment, too. Alright. Oh, actually, before we end this part, let's get this material. The cover material. Now, this is actually a. A material that that was actually a class. Well, it was more of an ability back at the old Final Fantasies. But basically, what it does is whoever has the mat the material equipped will actually. Anyway, I will end this part here. I might edit out all that noise that happened a while ago since my brother decided to come in at an inconvenient time. So, so, so if you see me silent sometimes, that's when you edit that part out. But anyway, I'll end this part here, but next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VII, we're going to be going to Aerith's house and we'll see what to do from there. So, until then, guys, see you guys next time.